Hi, I'm Matthew Shimalo. Welcome to the Wealth Master Class, where we teach you to make, manage, and multiply money. We also have that part of the Wealth Master Class, which we call the Wealth Academy, challenging the 20 to 35 year olds to create wealth, the millennials to become millionaires before they are 40, so that they don't have to go through what their fathers and mothers went through. You know, many have taken on the challenge. They want to truly create wealth. And many are hearing the language, having a side hustle. But in talking about side hustle and businesses to do, it is important for you to know the ones that are really time wasting or that don't produce as much as they should. So we shall call today's teaching DDDB. Don't do dumb business. Don't do dumb business. As some businesses, they really consume your time. They don't produce. They don't give you the kind of financial value, dividend, returns, and satisfaction as you desire. The first among them is <laughs> clothing brand. Some people just not long after they start in business, they want to have start their own clothing line. And the world is full of 1,001 clothing lines and because one person started and had a name don't mean you also will go start one and everybody would buy. You've got to understand, everyone wants to have a fashion label, but not everyone succeeds there. The kind of publicity, management, quality of money, quantity of money that it requires, the kind of modeling you need, the kind of equipment to make it happen, the distribution in particular makes it quite a challenge. So. Maybe not the way to go. The second popular, and particularly among ladies, is jewelry line. Some just see a jewel online, somebody's trying to sell, and so they say, okay, make it, put my initial on it, and so they create a website, they create a platform on social media, and they're selling jewels. You gotta realize that for a person to wake up in the morning and wants to buy jewels, they must, be a person who have taken care of their primary need, their hunger, their pangs, their thirst, and they need the jewel. If not, it probably is not where to stay. Jewels are good, but uh, it may just keep your money for a long time, particularly because a good number of those millennials who are selling jewels are not the producers, they are middle persons who buy it in bulk from somewhere else to sell. The third business a lot of millennials have gotten involved in, and this is very popular, is to be a social media influencer. Mm. Social media influencing can be a great thing, particularly if you've been able to generate a good number of following. But listen, only a few people get on this, and some make it, others don't, particularly because if you're going to be a social media influencer, you must have generated a good following. You must have the subject or the approach that will command attention before you can be the kind of influencer which probably fashion houses, product owners can now advertise on your space or give you things to use. But please, because of the kind of level of falsehood that is with some social influencers, you've got to learn that you don't want to start your life on falsehood. Some of them do not own what they show. They show cars they, don't, they can't afford, jets that are not theirs, clothing lines that are not theirs, giving the impression and so that people can go by. You want what will eventually stay with you, stay longer. The next one is creating a drop shipping website. And listen, when you create a drop shipping website, not everyone can do this without compromise. It may involve stealing other people's uh, photos, other people's market, so that you are seen as the one who can make the business happen. The next one is a perfume line. I cannot forget one time I got so bemused seeing whom 
with all due respect, I will call a D-grade actress. And the second largest movie producing world, which is Nollywood. The largest is not Hollywood, but Bollywood. Bollywood produces more film than anywhere else. Nollywood, the one from the country of Nigeria, is the second largest film producing uh, line. The third, of course, is Hollywood, but the richest is Hollywood. This D-grade Nollywood actress probably got someone to help her sponsor, went and created her own perfume line. As I speak to you, I don't recall her name. I just remember her face. Not many people know her. She, was not as, she wasn't as big at the time she was acting as she thought she was. And even as I speak, she's not current anymore. Creating a perfume line, the packaging, the marketing, is a make or break market. There are other perfume lines that are strong, that have made the name, that have the capacity the distribution, the marketing, you don't have it. So creating a perfume line, even if it is something you studied, you've got to realize you have to do something probably no one else have done. A young man whose perfume I used had to create the one which he markets to high-end people and specifically based on their request, he also makes oods for them, which they use in their house to create a nice atmosphere. Other than that, it's a very tough business to do. Some millennials, also the next business they go into is being a life and business coach. Hey, come on, get out of it. When you say you have been a life and business coach, people want to see your track record. What have you done? What have you achieved? Even if you have had some degree of success, you haven't started anything major as yet. You should have run something so big with all kinds of stuff under you. Suppose you are running and you are saying you are a business and life coach. And the people who engage you, ask you questions that have to do with managing other people, managing 50 staff, 100 staff. How will you handle it? So while not discouraging a young person from doing a business like that, yet saying it is a business that requires experience. The next one I like to talk about, which grieves my heart, particularly when I see people going into it, is multi-level marketing, MLM. I have a concern about multi-level marketing for several reasons. My other responsibility is to be the pastor of a church. And I know that with MLM, they love to come to churches, to places of faith, because we trust easily. And MLM, multi-level marketing, requires people who can easily trust and part with their money. Multi-level marketing always delivers lesser than it promised. Multi-level marketing always leaves people hanging. Too many people have had their fingers burnt. I have never. I've been hearing of multi-level marketing since 33 to 35 years. I have never met one person who became a millionaire. They will show you magazines of somebody who joined them, who became this and that. But many of those people are themselves marketers who are being used. Multi-level marketing empowers the founders who are at the top, who will tell you, buy this soap, you sell it to four people, you make this profit, you rise to level two. You sell seven soap, you rise to level three. Most times, many people who join multi-level marketing don't get anything. Multi-level marketing is also very like predatory, it's like a chasing animal. They chase you, you don't join them, they blackmail you, they get angry. If, uh, if, if you don't join them, they, they take advantage of the trusting. So, you wanna create wealth? Don't let that be one of your biggest. And in saying multi-level marketing, 
there's a degree of multi-level marketing in 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 uh, selling forex. Be very wise. Be very careful. It is one of the businesses I have never been able to challenge people to get involved in. Yes, that is a four to ten trillion dollar business in forex. But unless you have the right equipment, the wherewithal, and you are the one directly involved, you may be making profit for some time and suddenly you lose everything. In my own opinion, I just feel that the computers with which they do Forex is calibrated to draw you in and you keep buying until one day, bam, they, give it, they take off from you so much that you lose. So, and the last, of course, that I have on my list today is those who say they are bloggers and they see it as their side hustle or side business. Before you become a blogger, you must ensure that you have a subject that is engaging, that is impactful, that will make people want to come to your site. If you want to discuss relationships, seven ways to know the lady I should not date. That is, if I was dating, I've been married 40 years. Six ways to know she's telling you, stop talking to me. Five ways to know if she's not the right person for you. That will get you to want to listen, to want to, to want to know what this person says. That's a good blogger who has a subject. In fact, you'll find that uh, when good search engine optimization is done, that kind of a person, their business, their site will be the one which advertisers want to put their advert on. So if you want to be doing, if you want to be blogging, ensure that you've done, you've, you've, you've made your blogging site such that you paid for a good search engine optimization. You have a strong subject and you've created a followership. You, you made people aware of what you do. So remember again, all we covered today, get out of blogging unless you have a strong subject. Don't do multi-level marketing. Don't be a life and business coach until you have enough experience and a track record. Don't get into perfume lines because if you get into perfume lines, you'll be con you will be competing with, you'll be swimming with sharks when you are a small croaker fish in the river. Forget about being a person into drop shipping business or social media management consultancy. I didn't mention that that much. But if you are going to manage social media for people, be the kind who you know the market, you know how to help them build their brand. Get out of the clothing business because also it's one of the huge, large, big businesses out there. The only way you may have to do that maybe if you find a particular kind of clothing which millennials or a particular age group like and it is not available in a place you created the website and you can deliver within a short time, why not? I hope today's teaching have helped you. Please follow, like, subscribe, press that like button, give us a thumbs up and if you have any comment, even if it is something you disagree with, let us know. Please drop your comments and remember, God bless you.